Hi, this is the demo of TigerGraph's Enterprise Graph Test Drive Kit. Starting on the Design Schema tab, here we see the graph schema with three vertex types, person, company, and project. Between person and company, there are two edge types. A person can work for a company, or a person can invest in a company. For each of those edge types, there are attributes, such as for investment, there is an investment year, and an amount of investment, and another string field for description. A company can invest in another company, and a company can bid on a project. So those are the edge types. Now if we switch to load data, we've already loaded the data for you. In the icons, you can see the input data files connected to different parts of the schema. On the right, you can see the statistics for the loaded data. There are some 370 million vertices, 930 million edges. Of those vertices, 365 million are persons, 100 million are companies, and there are some 160,000 projects. Now let's go to the Explore Graph page. The Graph Explorer lets you start from a few vertices of your choosing and then explore outward from them according to your chosen mode. The first mode is Search. You can name a specific vertex or you can let Graph Studio select them randomly. You pick which vertex types and how many of each type. The default is All Types and 5 of each type. So if I just click the Pick Vertices button I will get 5 plus 5 plus 5, 15 random vertices. One of the handy built-in features here is to find connecting paths between two vertices. Um, so let's click one person, and then I click on another person, and then I pick a mode. There are three different options. I will pick Show All Shortest Paths up to a maximum length of 20 which if you know anything about uh, graph algorithms, 20 is pretty hard. And you see we found several paths. They seem to be length 8. And let's try another option. I will, here now, I will now pick two companies and do the show all paths option. So these are not all shortest paths, these are all the paths, up to a maximum length of 8. Oh, that looks like too many. So maybe eight was too big. So let's undo and try a smaller number. We'll try six. Uh, none. Hmm. Must be seven. There we go. Looks like we have four major paths there. So that is the explore graph. Now let's move on to the queries. You can write your own queries if you have the full version of Graph Studio. We have written two queries for you. The first is company holders, that is ownership. This query starts from one company and a depth or a step size and it looks for all persons or companies who own a piece of the given company. And so there's the given company highlighted in white and there's one person in blue there that own some stock in that company. And then you see a chain of other companies, companies that own a piece of another company. And if we shift over to the far left, we see the chain of that far company on the left owns a bit of the one next to it, which owns some of the one next to it, and next to it, and next to it, and so on, up to a depth of five as we specified. So that is the company holders query. The next query is key relationship, which also looks at a company and a, and a step size or depth. And here we look at the company's officers. We um, didn't mention this before, but one of the attributes is, are you a officer of a company? So we'll, let's, let's pick a particular company to start from, and we'll pick a depth of five. And here you see fanning around each of the companies is a little network of persons who are officers of that company. Those are the red links from a company to a person. And then we have green links from a company to another company. Again, we, we still show company ownership 
but now we also see who are the officers. So that is the key relationships query.